Hello guys, Soft Tony here and welcome to my new video tutorial where we will be creating a modern brush transition which is highly popular these days. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future tutorials. Step by step we will create and make this cool transition that will enhance the look of your videos. And without any further ado, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. Alright, we're here in After Effects and now let's create a new composition, hit Ctrl plus N, this will be 9020 by 1080 let's rename it to Final, duration it doesn't matter, I will leave it to around maybe 10 seconds, hit OK, and then let's create our brush composition, hit Ctrl plus N, we will do 2000 by 500, like so, 30 frames per second, and then hit OK. Our next step is to hit here on this uh, little icon rectangle tool or hit Q on your keyboard and now let's draw a perfect rectangle like this. Okay, now let's add our first effect but before that let's rename this to brush like so, then go here in the facts and preset and if you can't find it just go window and you'll find it here, just check here. Okay, now our first effect is going to be fractal noise effect, drag and drop onto our brush layer and now let's make a few adjustments for the fractal type uh, let's leave it to basic uh, noise type change here to block for the contrast type here 50 brightness minus 20 like so also open up this transform option uncheck this uniform scaling for the scale width go to around 2000 and for scale height type here 40 okay our next effect that we're going to use is turbulent displays go again here in the facts and preset just drag and drop onto our layer and for the displacements instead of turbulent find here horizontal displacement for the amount let's type here 900 size to around 20 like so and then duplicate this turbulent displacement hit ctrl plus d or go edit and then duplicate okay for the amount let's change here to 800 size to around 10 you can basically play around with the all option here in our brush composition like so our next effect is also turbulent displays hit ctrl plus d once again but let's change our displacement from horizontal displacement to turbulent and for the amount instead of 800 let's try minus 30 and for the size type here 300 and now basically you can play around here with the offset until you get result that you're satisfied with okay now let's rename this composition one, uh, hit Control plus K, we have forgotten to do it before, I will just type brush, hit OK, and then let's animate our uh, shape layer, go to around 2 seconds, hit S for scaling, but also before that, move this point all the way to the left or to the right, uh, hit Y on your keyboard or this uh, little icon, pen behind tool, and move all the way to the left, like so. Now hit S for scaling, uncheck this constraint proportion, set up our first keyframe for scaling, go to zero frames and type here zero. Okay, now hit U to show all of our keyframes like this, find here, uh, find them here in our scene, hit F9 on your keyboard and go to graph editor and draw a curve like this. If you can't find curve like this, just go right click and you will find edit speed graph. Okay, I will close this for now, hit zero for our animation and this is looking really cool for me. Now let's close this effects control for now and let's import our brush composition inside of our final comp. And now as you can see we have this uh, brush animation, brush solid animation here in our finals. Okay, now let's duplicate our brush composition for as many times as we need to cover up our a preview window hit ctrl plus d once hit r for rotation and then v you can play around here in our scene hit ctrl plus d again rotate this one move it all the way down okay hit ctrl plus d again rotate it according your needs like so hit ctrl plus d repeat the process and i will speed up this part until i'm covering all of our preview window here in our finals
Okay, now when we hit zero here in our final scene, we have this cool animation of our brush shape layer. Okay, now let's pre-compose all of our brush composition. Hit Ctrl plus A, go right click, pre-compose. I will rename this to brush plus elements, hit OK. And now let's import our first media here in our final scene. I already have my media 01. This is uh, free footage from pexels.com. But of course, you will import your own media. Let's import it here in our finals. Go here in the track mats, find here alpha mat. And now when we hit zero, we have this really cool animation of our brush and our media here in our scene. Okay, now what we can do is to hit this media 01 and brush plus elements once again. Go again, right click, pre-compose this one. I will just rename this to one and then duplicate this uh, first composition, hit Ctrl plus D, move this first composition one frame ahead, like so, and then hit on this second one, go to here, effects and preset, and find here, fill effect. And for the color, let's try maybe yellow color. Of course, you can play around with your colors. And now when we hit zero, we have this really cool and awesome brush transition in our scene. Also, in every moment, you can go here in Brush Plus Elements to readjust all of our brush shape layers. Let's go back here in our final composition. I will close this effects control for now and then just drag and drop Brush Plus Elements composition once again here in our finals. And here you can play with blend blending modes. Let's try maybe overlay, hit T for opacity and go to around 10% or maybe 20 until you're satisfied with your own result, 30%. You can also try other blending modes, hit Ctrl plus D, go here and find Add, rotate it 180, like this. For opacity, let's try maybe 10 or so. Basically, it's up to you to play around with all of the options. And now when we hit zero, we have also those brushes here in our scene, and this is looking really cool and really creative. All right, guys, uh, that was everything for today's tutorial. I hope you learned something new. Play around with the options and parameters to achieve your desired result. Also, this technique is incredibly useful and can be applied in your own projects. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to hit that like button. Also, leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video lessons. All the links are in the description, so feel free to check out my portfolio pages and more. So, until next time, stay creative and bye-bye!